Hey guys, it's Trav here from Trav 3387. So, something completely different. We're going to be doing a bit of mower work today. So, um, this is a McCulloch Mopart 66. Uh, it's got a busted transmission. So, I went and purchased the complete uh, transaxle assembly. So, this was $345. So, it's the whole workings, the whole drive system um, to drive the mower forward and backwards. Uh, so, 345 bucks plus a new battery um, and a carton of beer for this mower. And it's in pretty damn good condition, other so other war, other than the blown transmission. So um, now we're going to be going step by step through um, to like disassembly, reassembly, and then take it for drive and see if it actually works. If I've done it right, there is an instruction book, but I'm not going to follow that. Um, call them destruction booklets. So, but I will put photos up of that book so you can get an idea um, and show you a good look at the transmission and what goes wrong with this. So. Anyway guys, it's enough uh, bullshit. We'll uh, get into it and uh, get this mile going. Cheers. So this is the transaxle assembly. So I thought I'd show you a bit of a look at it. Um, so essentially this here at the back is where you lift it up and it locks it into, so you drive, then you lock it up and it gets it like a neutral so you can push your mower around. This is your drive system, so it's essentially a flywheel that spins up top. And as you select gears with this rod here, so it's in shift to the lever up the front, it will shift this wheel forward, like left and right. So essentially it has three gears, has three speeds, one, two, three, and then shifts out the other side and it's into reverse. So it's got a plastic, differential which is pretty rubbish but you know it is a cheap mower they only retail for like fifteen hundred dollars new um, in Australia anyway so they've got a brake brake system here which is on a spring um, and it's just like an open wheel sort of differential so it'll drive essentially one wheel and if that one sort of breaks traction or the other one vice versa just spits back and forth so and this here is a sensor for the, the cutter engagement so when you if you lift off your seat and the cutter's engaged this will trigger that and shut the mower down um, but yeah, it's pretty basic. There's nothing really to it, but the problem with them is they flog out the drive system. So when you drive first, second, third, you should stop, change gear, stop, change gear, stop, change gear, you know, vice versa. Otherwise, in turn, this gets rolled on the flywheel, so it uh, prematurely flogs out the drive system. Um, it's Look, it's, it's a cheap mower, so realistically, you treat it with respect and look after it, and it should last. There should be no reason why it won't last, just like any sort of cheap Chinese sort of thing, um, or vice versa. So, pretty much, enjoy, guys. Bit of bit of fun, bit of mucking around, something completely different. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to take the back end off first. So this is that lock system I told you about. So that there is for your neutral and drive. So you just drop that down, lift it up. There's a bolt here, a bolt there, bolt here, bolt there. And we've got a series of bolts there across. The, the deck height adjustment, so there's two bolts there. There is a wire in here. And then there's a sensor wire down there we've got to undo. Just come over the other side. Uh, undo the forward and reverse and undo the deck height adjustment here and then a series of bolts there as well um, take the wheels off and that's pretty much it it's pretty basic but we'll get into it and have a look see so it also comes with um, a complete new set of bolts the whole the whole lot so that's pretty handy don't have to use the old stuff Keyway here as well, which is in there. So 
beware, don't lose your keyway, that's your drive. Keyway. side done now we'll go to the other side right side done sorry all right as we spoke about there's a sensor in here sensors there so imagine you just get a screwdriver push it up under and that's it there's a sensor wire off now there's another wire there so this one here so we just get a pair of pliers pull the um little pin out and then that'll be it and we'll pull this part apart that should be pretty straightforward. This is what happened to this one. You can see transmission's busted, broken, gears busted, all the chains off, and it's smashed. Everything's just worn out and buggered. So, and this is that drive wheel. You can see it's pretty flogged out. It's got a crack in it somewhere. Yeah, see, look. So it's not working. That's what's wrong with it. So now we'll put the new one in, and we'll go from there. 
It's also a little sensor here as well. So just change the sensors over from the old one to the new one. Run the wires through. As you see, to the clip, it's easy as. And then we'll just start reassembling the mower. So just install the sensor wire, just down there, there's your sensor. So now we're going to put the whole assembly up and start building it back up. So I had to install two springs, the brake spring here, and then the main spring. So this main spring here, down to there, just on the back, so this is where it floats. So I'll get into that detail soon. Guys, so unfortunately my camera died whilst uh, three quarters of the way through the build, so I kept going. Um, anyway, so that sensor's back on. That wire is back on here. And everything else is all done up. So everything's all back together. So your forward and reverse. So forward, three speeds forward. And then neutral, reverse. So that's all on there, everything's all done. So now we will take it for a test drive. The only issue is we've had rain for about two weeks, so it's pretty muddy, but we'll just go for a little lap and see how she performs.
guys. So that's the um, the differential transaxle installation for the Mocart 66. So hope this helped you out. If um, if so, drop a like, drop a comment, um, subscribe, and um, yeah, hope you like the video, guys. As always, cheers.